Yes, welcome back once more to my world of classic dirt bikes and thanks to all my YouTube subscribers and browsers for showing an interest in my video channel. Now in this featured video we are going to take a look at a machine that I captured at the 2019 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show and this particular machine is a 1981 SWM 440 Enduro Twin Shocker. Now this featured bike was spotted at the West Country Windings stand at the 2019 Telford Classic Dirt Bike Show. Now of course West Country Windings are of course a long established company specialising in the repair and rewinding of ignition and stator systems for all makes and models of motorcycles. Okay back to the motorcycle. Now SWM motorcycles were of course founded in 1971 by Piero Cironi and Fausto Vergani and they manufactured trials, enduro and motocross bikes from their Milan based factory in Italy during the 1970s and 1980s. Now SWM at the time started with small capacity Saks engined enduro bikes up until they then began making Rotax engined trials bikes in 1977. Now Speedy Working Motors, or SWM, uh, had a good run of uh, making motorcycles during the 1970s until they eventually went into liquidation in 1984. Now our featured model is of course a 1981 440 machine. And uh, as you can see, this bike has been fitted with the aluminium swing arm. Now, uh, I was aware personally that uh, the aluminium swing arm on these models did not come out until 1983. But uh, of course, I stand to be corrected with uh, all my YouTube aficionados. Now as good as these bikes were, and in particular this Rotax two-stroke motor, I still can't help thinking that uh, SWM could have chosen a more dynamic name for their company other than Speedy Working Motors. But nevertheless, this overall 1981 440 was still a very decent package in this orange painted livery. This bike, of course, is fitted with a very nice pair of YSS piggyback rear shocks. Now, these 81 bikes, of course, had the uh, plastic translucent tank, as you can see some fuel in this bike already. Also fitted to these 81 machines were these very heavy duty uh, Marzocchi front forks. And of course a very good uh, high quality FMF tailpipe. Now if my memory serves me correctly these SWMs came originally with uh, a set of Corticosa rear shocks fitted which are of course were only really good enough to hold the rear of the bike up while it was sitting in the showroom. Now this 1981 SWM came in 125, 250 and of course our featured model the 440cc variety. Now these two-stroke Rotax motors put out about 47 brake horsepower. Uh, they were fitted also with a 38mm Makuni and a full race exhaust and silencer. Now these Rotax motors were virtually indestructible and were very reliable 
engines and were used on a variety of off-road motorcycles during the 1980s. Now this bike of course is more or less 100% original and has all the original fittings from 1981. Now of course these 1981 SWMs were very nice looking machines in their day although they are quite a rare sight uh, these days and uh, you very seldom see any of these racing in the classic and vintage race events in the UK. Now the final drive gearing on our particular 1981 model here has been modified for enduro racing with a 44 tooth rear sprocket and a 15 tooth front primary drive sprocket. Now while combining the quite light chrome molly chassis with uh, the plastic body panels, uh, that light alloy swing arm and that very uh, potent uh, 440 Rotax motor, the overall curb weight of this bike was uh, reputed at the time to be only around 106 uh, kilograms. But of course the pinnacle of SWM's success came in 1981 with a world title and a Scottish six days trial win by French teenager Gilles Barreau. But of course, nevertheless, uh, SWM still produced this very nice bike when uh, you consider at the time they were in direct competition with the likes of companies like Fantic Motor, Boltaco and Montessa for their share of the world's off-road market. So there you have it, a very short but very brief look at the 1981 Italian-made SWM 440 Enduro bike. Now I hope you continue to stay tuned to my YouTube channel for yet more of these lovely classic dirt bikes. This video was brought to you in association with Wolf Sport Motocross Race and Leisure Wear and also in association with VMX Magazine, the world's undisputed number one publication for all your vintage and classic dirt bike motorcycles.